I actually don't know how much battery my uh, camera has. I kind of left it in the car. Completely forgot about it. Uh, I want my baby. Um, he's a little sick. Well, we took him to the doctor. It's not COVID. He's just, I guess, under the weather. You know, it's really cold out here. Um, and I like to take him out at least for a drive, you know. But actually, right now, I'm actually going to AutoZone, my uh, MDX, by the way. Somebody asked me for an update for the MDX. Um, guys, it's a, it's a love-hate relationship. I hate it, but I love it. The cons, the battery wakes up dead. I already did the Bluetooth uh, module disconnection, uh, and it hasn't died since. But... One of the, there's like a few things that you should do when you get a new car. Do an oil change, change the brake pads, and a new battery if you can. You know, especially if you buy a used car. But like this, you'll know exactly that your battery is good, that your brakes are good, and your oil is clean and fresh and new. Those are like the three things that you should do when you get a, a used car. And I did the brakes, I did the oil, I did not do the battery and it was giving me problems and i have my little jumper box that i bought um and it's been helping me ever since you know i just jump it it's not a big deal but let's say when i had covid there was like two three days that i didn't go move it for street cleaning and in those three days the battery was like dead 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 you know dead uh and my jumper like almost didn't turn it on almost um but so I started working again, like actually going to work, uh, making some more money, extra money and stuff. And now I can buy a battery. And I'll uh, show you something else I'm gonna get also. But I'm heading to AutoZone right now with my baby. I'm gonna put a ba uh, basically buy a battery and install it. I don't know if I'll install it there or go to Home Depot parking lot and install it. Uh, I'll probably do that. And yeah, that's it. That's all I'm doing today, guys. And I'm going back home. He's probably going to take a nap, and that's it. All right, guys. So I basically tried to get the most expensive one they had, but uh, they didn't have it. So I had to get their Duralast Gold. Uh, they had some in stock somewhere else, but I didn't feel like driving, and I got the baby. So I was kind of like, eh, I'll just take this one. They got a decent amount of cranking amps. Uh, 750 which is not bad and it has three-year warranty so if anything does happen I'll just come and return it you know it's one of those things it's a brand new battery three-year three-year warranty I was gonna say three-year lifetime warranty it makes no sense <laughs> three-year warranty and uh, yeah so my car actually came with this interstate one. I don't really know how, how good this is. Um, and it doesn't say the year, it says five year warranty. I do not see the year. Whatever, it's going, it's going, it's going. It's out of here. I'll probably time lapse it just because, you know, I have my baby inside and I gotta rush, so. Right, for some reason for some reason my positive doesn't sit all the way down and I try to you know push it down more and it just doesn't go so I'm gonna just kind of leave it like that it's still making a good contact but I don't know all right that's done I forgot to put the little grease or whatever but eh it's tight See, it doesn't sit all the way. I don't know why. And I banged it trying to make it sit, but that's as far as it goes. This one's good. And this bracket is okay. That's it. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna turn it on. Come on, baby. I leave them inside the car because it's mad cold outside. It's very windy. I'm gonna turn on the car. 
Make sure. <laughs> Make sure it turns on. Right now, I'm gonna go to Home Depot and buy something called an inverter. Uh, it's a Dewalt inverter. Um, because there's sometimes where I come to the car and I wanna like work on my laptop, you know, and just like have a long time, and I have nothing to charge my laptop with. All right, if I gotta do editing. If you see he crosses his legs, he's chilling. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go buy that right now and then I'll probably install it either tomorrow or Monday. Uh, I'll run like hard wire to, to the back and have it like permanently mounted somewhere, just like I did in the truck. And yeah. My baby fell asleep. Um, I was gonna do it earlier. Guys, it's super, super cold today. Like, if you stand outside for like five minutes, you're already like freaking frozen, right? Like, it's mad cold. Um, but basically, I was gonna... I, I usually don't take the car to the car wash. Uh, one, it's very expensive nowadays. And two, they leave a lot of swirl marks, you know? The car wash machines, the, the brushes that they use, they use... The brushes that they use, they're very like, uh, you know, harsh and they scratch the paint a lot you know um so basically i usually uh buy a detailing wax uh back then i used to use uh, mcguire's uh like black something something like car wax for the infinity this one is not a black color so i found another one i'll show you guys right now but it's basically a detailing spray and it it, it says on the bottle it's good for like when birds poop on your car you spray it and then wipe it off but i find that it actually gives you a quick like car wash you know without the water and soap and blah 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 so uh since the baby fell asleep i'm actually just do a quick wipe down might film it might not uh, i'll film it i'll show you guys till the battery dies another thing his car seat the reason why i picked it for him um it's like a foreign one so as he grows uh you know you can raise the thing the backrest the headrest you can raise it up and eventually you can take the whole back part off and just leave the bottom part and it's gonna you know it's like a booster chair booster seat whatever so what i like to do when he knocks out like that i uh this is what i do I recline his seat. Like that, he's a lot more comfortable. I open up his jacket and stuff. I let him sleep for a little bit. people walking by I don't want to talk right now so basically there's two products that I use this one is Meguiar's quick detailing spray all right this is great it's expensive as fuck almost $20 but you can literally wash your car with that like 20 times so not bad and then invisible glass that's literally all you need for a quick wash and leaves your car super clean so right now keep this one in here I'm gonna start cleaning put you guys around here
I'm not going to show you your whole car because then I got to move the camera around. But look, what a big difference. You know, you guys can't tell, but I'll show you. Look at that. That was all on the car. So it all makes your car look dirty. So, hey, McGuire's, if you're watching, sponsor me. So I just finished cleaning the car. Or night, just wiping it down, basically. If you listen, my baby's snoring. <laughs> he sounds just like me. Anyways, guys. I basically bought this inverter. I kind of wanted it for a while. Uh, like 150 bucks. Now, there's many things you can do with this inverter. The one that I used to have here, I put in the truck. Right, if you haven't watched that video, I put it in the truck so that we can charge the batteries and stuff in the truck. Since the truck needed it more than my car at that moment, uh, because we actually, we did a stop and all the drill batteries were dead and we had to do that shit by hand. So um, I was like, you know what, fuck it. I don't need it right now. I'm gonna put it in the truck, hardwired and everything. Now this one is like three times the price. And this is gonna be for me, my personal one, for my car. So if you guys don't know, an inverter basically uh, produces wattage, right? It's like an amplifier. So if you know about amps for sound system, it's basically the same concept. You wire it hardwired or from a cigarette lighter. But I think this is too much watts, so it has to be hardwired or straight to the battery. Um, so basically this one produces a thousand watts. See it says two thousand peak power. A thousand watts running continuous. So anything under a thousand watts, this thing can hold it super comfortable without straining your battery. I did put a brand new battery inside. So now the battery powering this should be no problem. Uh, but like I said, sometimes, for example, right now, I could go home, I could have went home, but then I would have to wake him up and blah, 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 blah. And then he might not go back to sleep and then he's going to be cranky and stuff like that. So, you know, you kind of got to find what works for you. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to just let him sleep in the car at least half hour, you know, 40 minutes while I did what I had to do. Um... It's been like 20 minutes now, and he's snoring. So it'd be very unfair if I just go home and wake him up to, you know, take him inside when I can just let him sleep. But moments like this happen a lot, right, when I take him out and stuff. Sometimes randomly. This is not even his nap time right now. But um, either that or sometimes I like to step out and, like, clean my car and do whatever I want. And then my wife stays with him with the baby at home, whatever, whatever. Um... And, um, yeah, I like to bring my laptop to the car and I can start editing videos and I don't have to worry about waking up the baby at home or chasing the baby around while I try to do everything. Uh, I think this guy just dumped, I think this guy just dumped some garbage behind me, man. That's not cool. He just dumped a big old bag of trash. Um... But anyways, I, with that, with this now, I can bring my laptop and the charger and literally just sit in the car, plug it in, and I'll have continuous power, and my battery is not going to drain on the laptop. Uh, you could also do other things, like uh, buy a little polish machine and, like, polish your car with this. It uh, has, like, three USBs. I can do a whole lot of stuff. You know, I could actually bring my damn charger for the camera so it don't die like last time. So it's, it's very convenient, you know? It's a little bit expensive, but it is Dewalt. So I, you know, I've been using Dewalt for years, you know, at, at work or whatever, and it's really, really good. So I expect this to be the same. Um, and yeah, man, I'll probably install this again either tomorrow. I work tomorrow Sunday. Um, either Monday probably, I'll go by wire, and you know, run the wire inside here all the way to the back. I also bought a little extension cord for it. Uh, 
know, so I can literally have this like bolted to the, you know, to the back and then just plug in an extension cord. So if I ever use my laptop again, if I ever use my laptop or if we buy a little uh, polisher buffer thing to buff the cars out and stuff, you know, it'll be ready. I keep saying bye. I keep saying bye to you guys. And it's like I just don't want to let you guys go. So basically I opened it up. Uh, I was like, yo, might as well test it now. I was like, might as well test it now just to make sure you see it says zero watts. Uh, and it's simple, you just put positive and negative. Can comes with these clamps. Uh, but obviously I gotta hardwire it. I don't want it like that. Basically I'm gonna test it right now. See if it charges my uh see if it charges my phone. I'm gonna have to start carrying lotion because my fingers and my hands is mad ashy. Uh, okay, it still says zero watts. Uh, but it is charging my phone. 38%. I'll test all the USBs real quick. Oh, I think it tells you the percentage of my battery. That should look low. Test the next USB. Also charging it, and the third one also charging it. So that's good, I guess. Yeah. Charging my phone. Cool.